Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong math tutorial videos. In this video, you will learn on how to transform quadratic function from vertex form into general form. Kung matatandaan class sa aking last tutorial video ay itinuro ko sa inyo kung paano mag-transform from general form to vertex form. This time class, reverse naman natin ang process. Vertex form into general form. Pero bago yan, review muna tayo kung paano mag-solve ng FOIL method and square of binomial. Unay na natin class ang FOIL method. The quantity of 5x plus 3 times the quantity of 5x plus 3 is equal to 25x squared plus 30x plus 9. Paano nga ba nakuha ang 25x squared plus 30x plus 9 gamit ang FOIL method? So yung 25x squared nakuha sa pagmultiply ng first term. 5x times 5x is equal to 25x squared. Yung 30x naman nakuha sa combined product ng outer term and inner term. So 5x times 3 is equal to 15x. 3 times 5x is equal to 15x. And 15x plus 15x is equal to 30x. At yung 9 naman ay product ng ating last term. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Ngayon naman ay reviewin natin ang mga steps ng pag-solve ng square of binomial. The quantity of 5x plus 3 times the quantity of 5x plus 3 is also the quantity of 5x plus 3 raised to the second power. And this is the square of binomial. So we have first term, middle term, and last term. And the square of a binomial is a perfect square trinomial. Okay, solve na natin class. So, para makuha natin yung ating 25x squared or yung ating quadratic term, square lang natin yung first term natin. So, 5x raised to the second power is equal to 25x squared. Again, so first step natin is square the first term. So, second step, Twice the product of the first and last term. At para naman makuha natin class yung ating last term or yung 9, square lang natin yung ating last term. So magiging 3 raised to the second power is equal to 9. So last step is square the last term. Okay, so move na tayo class dun sa ating topic ngayong araw. Sa pag-convert class ng vertex form to general form, kailangan natin gamitan ng FOIL method or ng steps on how to solve the square of binomial. So, mamimili ka lang sa dalawa kung ano yung mas gusto mong gamitin. Try natin sa example number 1. Step 1, rewrite x minus 4 raised to the second power or the quantity of x minus 4 raised to the second power. So, ibig sabihin class, ito muna yung una nating isisimplify. Tulad ng sabi ko kanina, mamimili lang tayo kung FOIL method or square of binomial. Dito, yung square of binomial muna ang gagamitin ko. So, square the first term. x raised to the second power is equal to x squared. Next, Twice the product of the first and second term, so magiging x times the quantity of negative 4 times 2 is equal to negative 8x. Then, square the last term. Negative 4 raised to the second power or the quantity of negative 4 raised to the second power is equal to positive 16. Then, pagsasama-samay natin yung perfect square trinomial sa loob ng 
open and close parenthesis. So, magiging x squared minus 8x plus 16. Tapos, bring down natin si 2 and plus 5. Para sa step 2 natin class, gamitan natin ng distributive property. Note, if a is equal to 1, proceed to step 3. Kaya lang, yung a natin dito class is equal to 2. So, kailangan natin i-multiply si 2 kay x squared minus 8x plus 16 using distributive property. So, 2 times x squared is equal to 2x squared. Next, 2 times negative 8x or minus 8x is equal to minus 16x. And 2 times 16 is equal to positive 32 or plus 32. Then bring down natin si positive 5 or plus 5. At para naman class sa ating step number 3, combine like terms. So add natin class si positive 32 and 5. 32 plus 5 is equal to 37. Kaya naman class naging 2x squared minus 16x plus 37. And this is our final answer. Okay, proceed tayo sa example number 2. So example number 2, first step natin, rewrite the quantity of x minus 1 half raised to the second power. This time, gamita naman natin ng Boyle method. So the quantity of x minus 1 half times the quantity of x minus 1 half. So, first step natin sa FOIL method class, multiply the first term. x times x is equal to x squared. Next, outer term naman, x times negative 1 half is equal to negative x over 2. So, para naman sa inner term, negative 1 half times x is equal to negative x over 2. And for our last term, Negative 1 half times negative 1 half is positive 1 fourth. Pagkatapos, isimplify natin magiging x squared minus x plus 1 fourth. Kung nagtataka kayo, class, kung bakit naging minus x yung ating linear, so tandaan, class, sa addition or subtraction ng similar fraction, add or subtract the numerator and copy the same denominator. So, negative x minus x is equal to negative 2x divided by 2 is equal to minus x or negative x. Pagkatapos class, ibabalang natin or i-bring down natin yung ating 3 and plus 1. Then, proceed tayo sa step number 2. Step number 2, gagamitin ulit natin class yung distributive property. And again, a is equal to 3, kailangan natin i-multiply si 3 kay x squared minus x plus 1 fourth. 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 3 times minus x is equal to negative 3x or minus 3x. 3 times 1 fourth is equal to positive 3 fourth. Pagkatapos, bring down natin class yung ating plus 1. Step 3, combine like terms. So dito class, i-add lang natin si 3 port plus 1. And 3 port plus 1 is equal to 7 over 4. Kaya po naging y is equal to 3x squared minus 3x plus 7 over 4. And this is our final answer. At para malaman natin class kung meron kayong natutunan, pakitry yung ating number 1, number 2, and number 3. I-comment nyo lang yung inyong sagot sa ating comment section. And I will check kung tama yung naging sagot nyo. At kung nagustuhan nyo naman class ang video na ito, huwag kalimutang mag-like, subscribe, at share. Maraming salamat sa panunod. God bless.